Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a stream setup how you can use the PlayStation 4, PC, Elgato, OBS and Discord in one headset included party chat. Now it's giving me a headache, headache pills. I'm even more bold since I've been trying that because my son wants to stream with his PlayStation and OBS. Because you know an overlay is always nicer. In a previous video, I covered my dual PC setup with Elgato, but today it's going to be about the PlayStation and PC with the Elgato HD 60, 60S or the just the 60, basically the one you see on the picture here on my screen. Now, what I've seen so many videos on YouTube, but they never covered how you hear the sound and the notifications of your PC. Now, I have been looking and looking and testing out so many stuff, so many settings and I finally figured out how you can have everything in one setup, in one headset and I will show you this. Now before I begin you see I made a powerpoint, it's way easier, you will see why. So let's have a look. First of all when we begin the jacks so this is not covering a usb or a wireless headset at the moment this is purely a headset with two jacks or one jacks where you can control the microphone and the volume on the cable now as you can see you have the different ones what do we need we need the one with three of the stripes and one with the two on the stripes now the pictures will cover with Elgato Shetling cable or without a Shetling cable. As you can see, this is what you need with or without. Now you can always pause the, the video if you want to see um, what it is. Here you see an Elgato Shetling cable, this one, and this is one if you want to make it yourself and don't want to spend money on Elgato. Now this is the first setup. So what do you see? I'm going to show you I have uh, a lot of options. So what is this option? This option here is you have this headset where you can control the volume of the headset and mute the microphone. Now, what do we need to do? So first of all, this is with, as you can see, the Elgato Shetlink cable and a headset with two jacks. That's option one. Now the Elgato Shetlink that goes into the PlayStation 4 uh, controller. And then you just follow the lines so as you can see here, this goes into the PlayStation controller and then you have these two. This one just goes to the Elgato, that's normal. Um, also if you make your own, but here is the important thing. So here is gonna come all the sounds and also the microphone from your headset. Now here you see this, this splitter and I told you in the beginning of the video, you have three stripes here. It's very important that it's like this. You can basically also use this, the other splitter that is not looking like this, but the stripes are important. Otherwise you will only have one of the two, either the sound or the microphone. Now from the, uh, from the headset, it's very easy. You just put the microphone in here. That's no problem. Now the big problem was, how can I get my notifications from OBS here? So let's follow this. We go from the headset. We go from the headset to also, this is a, this is basically a, a copy of an Elgato, but it's not from Elgato itself. You can also make the, the uh, shutting yourself, but you will see that in the next pictures. So you go from the headset to this cable as you can see, you plug it in in the female, the male, the splitter here, the male goes into this one. And then this male will be connected through this to your PC here. So basically, just for the sound of the PC, you need all this fuss here to get the sound from the PlayStation and the PC. Now, I changed also this, maybe you have it at home, here you see an audio splitter, this is also an easy way, then you just need to plug the three things in here and this stays the same. Now the next option, 
what if you only have one uh, jack on your headset then you need this splitter this doesn't need three stripes you can just use the one with that splits the the audio this is basically the same um, setup so you always need to go from the microphone directly to the chat link and here the the sound always goes in the same way as in the previous setups i'll go to the next one this is with the option two is the same the audio splitter so basically that's also the same setup you can always pause the video so it's easier it looks complicated but it is really not complicated then here you see no elgato sets link cable and then again with the two jacks now basically this is just the same um, option as the elgato but you just make it yourself this here always stays the same you just need to connect these cables together and then to this one and here this should be one check that's a little typo for me here it's also with one check and then you split it and it's the same way so basically that's it for the setup now you have other problems as you can see i'll go to the xbox there you go now what do you need to do on the xbox you go to settings and everybody knows this um, i see that in every video you go here and you unthink this one and this one it is in dutch because it's my son um so sorry for that but it's in flemish i mean so you see hdcp you need to put it off but also you need to put off this so this is also one option then next what you need to do and there comes the problem well basically not the problem that was a problem that had to be solved here you can see this one always goes to the headset is connected to the controller don't do that just put it on tv um, because you don't need that here you see uh, input that has to stay on the controller why you will see that later in obs now i can put this on at the moment my microphone is muted on my headset i will unmute it so you can see it actually works test 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 so basically this is working this is an extreme old headset so i have problems unmuting it there you go muting it so you see this actually works now let's go back to obs itself there you go so here you have obs don't mind these thingies um this is just for recording now i will show you the settings this is actually the sound that you can hear from the playstation to prove that it's actually working now what do you need to do you press the plus and then you take video recording device then you get a new pop-up and then you can show see here game capture hd 60s video hashtag 01 you need to take that one then we scroll down these settings are not that important and here this setting play to your desktop audio buffering put that off if you stream um, otherwise you will have problems on your stream that's never good but this is how you need to do it game capture hd with the hashtag and then here you go to desktop audio so that's one now what else do you need to do you say like oh but i want to be um on discord and talk to my friends so here you have the playstation i will go back to this now first of all i've seen the video from elgato and it just does didn't work how they said it so what they say is if you have the chat link let's go to here if you have the chat link you need to put this on analog don't do that because you can't um, manage discord and all that stuff just leave it on hdmi audio so i'll close this i'll close this 
Now here you have the volume mixer, so you can always uh, put some music on. I, I'm not gonna do it, otherwise I'm gonna get flames, but then you would see um, that it actually works. Now I'll go to Discord, I called in my secretary. I will go to the settings of Discord. As you can see here, I'm using a snowball. That's the downside of having a stream set up with a PlayStation. Well, not really a downside, on my dual PC stream setup I also have two microphones because it splits out the party and the stream talk itself. I prefer that and I think everybody prefers that. So what do I do here is I take my snowball. Now I can actually talk to my secretary and you're not, you will not hear it. Uh, secretary, hello, hello. Hello, you see she is actually talking, but you can't hear it. Now, I will go to Elgato. Hello, hello. Hi. As you can see, you can actually hear her now. So basically, this is good for when you are streaming or recording. If you just want to talk to your Discord people, but you do not want to hear the, that the stream hear it, you keep it on your loudspeakers of the PC. If you actually stream in a, um, not in a party on a PlayStation, but you stream with a party on Discord, you put it on Elgato. Hello, hello? Secretary, Hi. are you alive? Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> well, there you go. So that works. I'm gonna put it back on private. So there you go. So this actually works. That's the Discord setting that you need to do. I'll go back to game capture. Now you can say, one, oh, but I have all those sounds now. How can I control that? That's a very good question. You can control the volume output with your headset with on the cable. But if you say like Discord goes too, too loud, you can also put this lower or you want to put music on you can put this lower or you just put it lower on the program there you go so that's basically it I have been looking for days and days and days and hours and hours and the problem was I never saw a video I'm gonna put the thing a little bit slower there you go I never found a video where you can actually hear the sound of the PC um, and the PlayStation. So this setup actually works. As you can see on the video, it works. Now, if I stream doesn't want to talk, let's say I'm in a party on Discord or I'm on the party um, on the PlayStation, I can always put my microphone off for the stream. Well, you couldn't hear me, but this is my snowball on the PC. So if you want to have a private conversation that the people that you can only hear the people on Discord or the party and the stream doesn't hear it, you just mute this. So the stream doesn't hear you talk at all. Now, why is this? If you put, if you do not mute this, you will have uh, problems with other sounds. So just keep this muted. I also will show you the advanced audio settings. Just put it on not uh, monitoring. That are the sex settings that you need. So this is basically the setup with the PlayStation. I'll put this off. This is the PlayStation. Then you know what to do. My microphone here is muted. I'll put it back on. There you go. And then I can go back to a party. I'm still on Discord. There you go. Well, that's it. I hope this video will help you get your setup done with the party set and everything. Um, it was a lot of fuss, a lot of settings, a lot of testing. Um, it is only for a headset where you can mute and control the volume and with a 3.5 millimeter jack connection. 
I might try it out uh, with the USB headset, but I think the only specific ones that can actually work, if it has the jack connection, it will work. But I don't have, um, I do have one, but it's not an expensive one. It was just one to test out something. The wireless ones, um, it is possible, but I think it's um, the Astro and the Total Beaches, but they are pretty expensive. So if you do not want to spend too much money on your stream setup at the beginning, you shouldn't be doing that. If you are a streamer and you begin, don't spend a lot of money on your stream. It's not necessary. You can do it um, with the analog also. If you want to spend money on it, you can buy a headset that is like two to three hundred dollars or euro and then you can also well have a different setup but it's not necessary if you start but the main thing is you can have one headset for your playstation sound for your pc sound notifications your obs and everything also for recording that's basically it what i wanted to show you and as you can see here is my preview there you go i made this um just pause the uh, the video it looks complicated but it's really not complicated but basically that's it i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it helped you um hear the sound of your pc finally because it took me hours hours weeks to actually figure it out because there was not one video that showed the sound of the pc itself okay that's it Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next time. Bye bye.